Hey, 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 what's going on there? Internet land, it's your girl Sean here, the entrepreneur, entrepreneur, coming live from my home office here this evening. It's been a while since I've done a live video, um, been in the lab working, trying to come up with some more content uh, to share with share with the audience. And so um, coming back today, sharing a couple of things with you uh, that I hope you get some value from. Uh, I got a couple of announcements. I want to have an announcement to make. Um, that I'm super excited about. So, <clears throat> how's everybody's Monday going so far? I'll let Facebook go out there and do its thing. Uh, what you guys been up to? You know, if you are catching this live, just say, hey, let me know where you're living in from. And if you're catching this on the replay, just type in for me, hashtag replay, so that I'll know that you stopped by. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I did jot down a couple of notes over here because I want to make sure that I don't forget to give you uh, anything um, that I had written down. All right. So if you see me look away from the camera for a minute, just because I'm kind of glancing over at my notes. All right. So well, like, I guess, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know if you guys saw the title of today's video, but it's simply five ways to be more confident. Now, if you're anything like me, if you're an entrepreneur, even if you're not an entrepreneur, a lot of times we get, you know, we kind of down ourselves or feel, you know, like, you know, I can't do this. This is too hard. Um, and we got to get away from that. So the easiest way to to do that is to really just kind of build our own confidence up. So I'm going to share with you today again, five ways to do that. All right. So the first way to feel confident about yourself and about any situation is to stop comparing yourself to others. Stop comparing yourself to others and stay focused. Now, let's talk about staying focused for a minute because it can be hard to stay focused. We got 50 million things going on, especially if you're an entrepreneur. We got 50 million things going on at one time. And truly, it's sometimes, you know, the phone is pinging and dinging, messages are coming in, Emails need to be checked. And so it's hard for us to stay focused on the task at hand. But whatever that task at hand is, whether it's doing a training video, you're learning about your business, you're just, you know, personal development, whatever it is, you know, stay focused on that and stop comparing yourself to other people. Again, we look and we see, hey, this person has, you know, progressed in their business. So they've, you know, they brought in five new people. And why am I not bringing in five in pe five new people? Just continue to work on yourself. That's all you can do. Stay focused and stop comparing yourself to others. That's number one, all right? Number two is to relax and go with the flow. Now, I know, again, for some people, it's hard to just kind of woosah, sit back and relax a little bit. Some days are going to be better than others, and you got to be okay with that. Some days you're going to come in there and you're just going to fly through the things that you need to fly through. You're just going to come in there and knock everything out the box. And then you're going to have those days where mm, not so much. But that's okay. Relax a little bit. Go with the flow. Just kind of chill, you know, and you'll be okay. Number two. All right. Number three. Now, number three, I thought was very, very important. And I don't think that we do this enough as individuals. And it's, simp it's two simple words, folks. Just two simple words. Number three is to love yourself. That's it. Love yourself. Think about it this way, folks. How can you love someone else if you don't love who you are? Okay? You got to love the person that you are. And whatever it is, again, that you need, then go out there and seek it. If you need more personal development, read a book, watch the motivational videos, whatever it is. But love you. Love you first and foremost, all right? That should have actually been really number one. But I made it number three, folks, all right? Again, love yourself. Number four. Now, this one is sometimes hard. Even I struggle with this sometimes, um, being real transparent. You know, a lot going on and we get into this mood. But number four is simply to be positive and look for the good in everything. Now, I try to do this every day. It's not always easy, 
but you gotta you 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 gotta look for the good and the good in everything that happens. I know, for instance, I'm working on something and it's driving me crazy, and I can't figure it out, and it's it just story just goes on and on and on. But it's simply have a positive mindset. Trust me, folks. The more positive you are, the better the outcomes will be with anything that you do. Okay, absolutely anything. So number four is just to be positive. All right. And number five, number five, number five is super duper, super duper, 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 super duper, 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 duper important folks. And number five is simply, you ready for this? Love what you do. Real simple. Because here's what happens when you love what you do. It's not work. You can get up, get on that computer, do what you need to do, turn the phone on, do a Facebook Live, talk about what you love. It's really simple. What's up, JJ? What's going on? Glad to have you in the house with me while I'm sharing these uh, five tips with you guys. Again, number five is do what you love, folks. I can't, I can't stress it enough. So that's really all that I have. So you know what? Before I get to my announcement, I'm actually going to just give you a quick repeat of those five ways to be more confident, okay? And number one was stop comparing yourself to others, okay, and stay focused. Number two is to relax and go with the flow. Number three is to love yourself. Number four is to be positive and look for uh the best in everything all right and number five number five was simply do what you love folks i guarantee you if you practice those things every day and it's a it's a daily thing with us it's not just something that we say one day oh you know i'm gonna look for the good in everything i do or i'm gonna be positive today we gotta do it every single day you know they say that if you repeat anything at least 21 days it becomes a habit so just continue to tell yourself, what's up, Miss Valerie? Glad to have you in the house. Um, you know, it's it's just got to become habit, folks. You just got to get in the habit of knowing that you are worthy of anything that you desire in life. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be just about business. Whatever it is that you desire, you are worthy of it. You just have to work towards it. All right. I want you guys to remember that. So I hope that you guys got some true value from today's live video. Um, I plan to be coming back on a more frequent basis, uh, sharing some great tips and tools and trainings and all of the other good stuff that um, I like to share. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate that. I'm glad you got some value from that. Truly, I am. Um, and so the big announcement. Hey, what's up, Trisha? What's going on? Glad to have you in. Just about wrapping it up, but please, 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 please watch the replay um, and let me know your thoughts, all right? I talked about five ways to be more confident. So, the big news, well, let's go back. I don't know if you guys have seen my post over the last few months, but I had lost all of my blog posts. Crazy story. I've been trying to get it back. Hasn't been working. I put up the all kind of posts because I wasn't I wasn't trying to see the good in everything, um, as I just told you guys to. And you know, said, do I really want to start over again? Do I do I really want to go through that process again? Well, when I put that post out there, I got some inboxes, I got some messages on that post. You know, when I say I'm not going to post my motivational stuff, people are like, "What are you doing? You're crazy." People really want to hear from you. So I know there are people on here who may not, you know, like my videos, may not like my posts, may not comment. And that's cool. That's good. But I know that there's also, also some people out here who enjoy what I have to bring to the table. So with that being said, be on the lookout for the new blog. Now, I'm still working it out. There's still some kinks to work out, wording to do. Um... But it's going to be under another name, which is still me, SeanPerryman.net, as opposed to SeanPerryman.com. So stay tuned for that. Um, I've actually got a couple of blogs written already, so I'm ready to put the stuff out there. I'm just trying to finalize everything. Um, but that's it, folks. If there's anything that you guys want me to talk about, if there's anybody who ever wants to jump on a live with me and we just kind of have, 
you know, a little back and forth and a little, a little conversation, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know if there's something that you'd like me to talk about. Again, we can work that out. And as always, guys, as I always say, until the next video, peace.